Slap on a smile. Come out and walk in the sun for a while. Don't fight the feeling. You know you want to have a good time. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is going to surely shine. school. Didn't I ever tell you that? No, I wish you had. <laughs> well, uh, what can I get for you? Gum. Gum? A comb. Comb? And a floss. And a floss. Some lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Give me some more floss. We have a lot of teeth in our family. <laughs> uh, let's see. That would be, uh... Oh, wait, you forgot something. What? Are these yours? No, they must have been left in the cart. See you later, boss. We'll see you. Well, at least I wasn't the millionth customer. Can you imagine? Sirens, bells, and me standing there with the manager holding a box of sanitary napkins. <laughs> Congratulations, Blossom. What are you going to do now that you've gotten your period? <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland <laughs> to punch out Snow White. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, it's not that bad. There's lots of things you can do now. You can hike, swim, horseback ride. <laughs> it's better than camp. <laughs> You know, if you hadn't brought those over here, I don't know what I would have done. Hey, no problem. Six, where'd you get them for your first period? From my mother's closet. <laughs> yeah, that works fine for you. You live with your mother. What? I just wish my mom lived here sometimes. Maybe she'll get that singing career thing out of her system. I don't think so. The last postcard I got is from Paris. Oh, come on. You don't need a mother to deal with your first period. I mean, everything you need to know is printed right on the box. <laughs> I know the technical stuff. I was in class the day they sent the boys out of the room and pulled the shades down. I just really wish my mom was here to talk to you. You know, I have questions. Like, what kind of questions? Just questions, that's all. I mean... I don't even know what brand to use, okay? <laughs> oh, that's easy. The brand with the best prize inside. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a brand that has no applicator, and they say that's better for the environment. We're talking about my first period. The planet can fend for itself. <laughs> Well, there's a brand of pads that has wings. Wings? What do you need wings for? <laughs> um, maybe it's the brand preferred by flight attendants. <laughs> Look, Blossom, I've only been a member of this club myself for a couple months. Well, why is this happening to me? Are you referring to the onslaught of puberty? A feeling of 
ennui, a kind of overall bloat. <laughs> yeah, it's because you're blossoming, Blossom. <laughs> well, why wasn't I consulted? Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, you'll get used to it. After all, it is going to happen to you month after month after month for about 30 or 40 years. <laughs> When it finally stops, you'll go through menopause. <laughs> Lose your mind for a while. <laughs> Grow facial hair and uh, start sounding like Darth Vader. <laughs> Thank you for the encouragement. Look, if you want to talk to my mom, I wouldn't mind. Thanks. Oh, hey, I... Better get going. When I'm gone too long, my dad starts reading the lyrics on my album covers. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, hey, I almost forgot. Congratulations. Today, you are a woman. Today, I'm a woman. I knew this was going to happen. <sighs> was terrific. Could you come in and scream again? You scared me to death. Excellent. I'm making a video for school. This is for school? Social studies. It's about violence in America. <laughs> for or against? They didn't say. Either way, it's a chance for me to bring my grade up to a C. Anthony's helping. He's writing, directing, and starring. And they had a video system at the rehab center. Actually, it was a security system. <laughs> You know, they let me play with it. What do you think? I think it's stupid. Possum, this is an homage to the great violent movies of our generation. Yeah, like Halloween 1, 2, and 4. What about 3? There was a 3? I can't believe you two. I could have a better conversation with hand puppets. Is it my imagination, or are you in a bad mood? I'm not in a bad mood. I just want to get my ice cream and go. You know, someday, you two are going to have to grow up. Hey, Blossom, take it easy, okay? We're just messing around. Looky, 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 looky. Hey, sweet. Well, you made it home early. Yeah. It's nice to be on the freeway at five in the morning. By then, everyone's run out of ammunition. <laughs> How was the session? It's terrific. That guy, Reggie, turned out to be an incredible musician. Absolutely inspired. I thought you said he was a no-talent, pea-brain, pretty boy. <laughs> I was wrong. He's a talented, pea-brain, pretty boy. <laughs> So, uh, why don't you join me for a bowl of chocolate ice cream and tell me what's on your mind? Nothing's on my mind. Then why'd you wait up? I didn't wait up. I woke up. Nice try, Blossom, but your pajamas aren't wrinkled and you don't have pillow creases on the side of your face. <laughs> this isn't my first day on the job. Where's the chocolate ice cream? There was almost an entire gallon this morning. Joey ate it. <laughs> well then, we'll have chocolate chip cookies. Shouldn't we bake them? Nah, wreck them. <laughs> so talk to me. I know I'm only your father, but maybe I can help. Why are you up? Well, I've just got stuff on my mind. Good stuff or bad stuff? Neither. It's just stuff. Oh. Is it anything that could be cured if I threw money at it? No. Good, because I don't have any. <laughs> Is it school? No. Fight with six? No. Fight with your brothers? No. Want to fight with me? Because this is getting real annoying here, Blossom. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me what the problem is? No, Dad. I don't have a problem. <laughs> it went away. 
Nothing's wrong. You were a big help. Suddenly, I'm very tired, yet I feel great. Good night. Goodbye. God bless. <laughs> Hello, Blossom. <laughs> I just finished baking this cake for your after-school snack. Mom. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't say a thing. What's different about you? I know you have your period. <laughs> How could you tell? I'm your mother, Blossom. My mother knows. Really? Of course. I bet you're filled with questions. Lots of changes going on inside. Sit down. I'll explain everything. <laughs> this, my dear, is an ovary. And this is another one. Now, every month, the ovary will produce an egg that will travel through the fallopian tubes into the uterus. The uterus is like a nest waiting for an egg. That's so one day when you're married and decide that you want to have children, an egg can be fertilized and a baby can grow there. But until then, your body will get ready with practice every month. And then the nest that is not used is shed. And that is your period. I see. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful change, huh? Yes. It means that someday when you're grown, you'll be able to be a mother, too, and have a lovely daughter, all your own, a daughter that you will love and be very proud of. Oh, Mom. <laughs> but it can be a difficult change, too. You're leaving your girlhood behind. That can be kind of scary, kind of lonely. Yes, it can. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Everything is fine. Why don't you go up to your room? I'll be there very soon with some warm soup and a heating pad, and we'll talk all about it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, operator. Can you tell me what time it is in Paris? Thank you. Hello? Oh. Bonjour, Hotel Bonaparte. Comment allez-vous? <laughs> operator, please don't talk that fast. I'm only in French one. <laughs> oh, you speak English. No kidding. What part of Nebraska? Oh. Well, Madeline Russo, room 1211. She isn't? Well, can I leave a message? This is her daughter, Blossom. Could you tell her... Could you tell her that I miss her? Au revoir to you, too. talk with you for a minute. Yeah, sure, Dad. Have you noticed anything on... <laughs> anything unusual or strange about your sister? Well, she looks fine to me. 
Well, she was kind of weird the other day. Yeah. Yeah, she was with me, too. Has she mentioned a boyfriend? Blossom? <laughs> Come on. Well, what about the possibility? What about the possibility? I know this sounds crazy. You think there's any chance in the world, you know, she's fooling around with uh, drugs? I knew you'd get that. Dad, trust me. I know everything there is to know about drugs. Buying, selling, growing, hiding, kicking. If anyone was on drugs in this house, I'd be the one to know about it. Well, I don't know what it is, but there is something going on. Dad, listen, Blossom's a great kid. Now, if she had a problem, she'd talk to you. And if she couldn't talk to you, she'd talk to me. And if she couldn't talk to me, she'd talk to... She'd try you again. <laughs> well, thanks, Anthony. You may be right. Parting your hair differently? <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I like it. Nice talking to you. Okay, now look, we need something really spectacular. How about, can you fall off the top of the stairs and land on your head? Yeah. But I can only do it once. <laughs> Here are the groceries, Mrs. Swanson. Hello, Bill. Don't talk to him. He's an idiot. I'll put your change in the cookie jar. Okay. There's a surprise for you. It's in the bag. This is a surprise. <laughs> no, those are mine. Oh, so you fell off the roof. <laughs> what? You got your friend. <laughs> What? Your period, Blossom, your period. Oh, yeah. It's my first one. Oh, dear. Agnes, what brand do you recommend? What brand? Well, in my day, they just sent you to the edge of the village, honey. <laughs> well, who am I supposed to ask? I'll tell you who. Supposed to ask my mother. She's supposed to be in the kitchen waiting for me after school with a cake and a tube of icing ready to explain the whole thing. But my mother's not in the kitchen. She's not even in the country. She's on the road fulfilling her needs. Well, I really need her right now. And all I have is a stupid P.O. box. Oh. You just go ahead and cry, sweetheart. It's very, very sad. Why can't I just have a mother who lives at home? It's not fair. No, it's not fair! <laughs> Neither is gravity. <laughs> Max, you have to grow up anyway. See? Now, what about your father? My father... He's a man. Well, there's nothing wrong with men. I've had six wonderful husbands. Four of them were my own. <laughs> I tried to talk to my father. Well, try again. I mean, he loves you, Blossom. So do those goofball brothers of yours. So do I. But it's not the same as having a mother. No, sweetheart. It's not the same, but we all got to work with what we got. See? Hi, Dad. Thank God you're here, Blossom. Quick, North Dakota. Dad, can I talk to you about something? Of course, sweetheart. Florida. Dad, do you remember when I was born? Do I remember? 1976. Kansas. I was born in California. 
I have an itch in Kansas. <laughs> you remember what the doctor said when I was born? The three loveliest words in the language. It's a girl. <laughs> well, Daddy, that was 14 years ago, and I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm a woman now. <laughs> You mean? I got my period. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Dad. Already? Already? I'm 14 years old. I'm practically the last one of my class. Blossom, when? Where was I? Nine o'clock Friday, the Biltmore Piano Bar. I don't mean where was I Friday. I mean, where was I when you grew up? I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Join the club. Everything's going to change. I mean, you're not my little girl anymore. This is wonderful. It is? Of course it is. Wait till I tell your brothers. Dad. Anthony, Jelly, come in here. Dad, Dad, what are you doing? They'll be thrilled. There's great news, guys. Blossom got her period. <laughs> Are me and my big mouth forgiven? Yes. Even though I called Ted Koppel? <laughs> yeah. You've become a woman, all right. We've been waiting for you downstairs for 15 minutes. <laughs> I can't get my hair to work. Proof positive. This is a crazy idea anyway. Who ever heard of going out for Chinese food to celebrate puberty? <laughs> Oh, here. Let me help you. You're gonna braid my hair. I know a lot about knots. I was in the Navy. You were in the band. How hard can it be? Give me a chance here, Blossom. You look so beautiful. So grown up. I wish your mother could see you. Dad, do you think she'll ever come home? I mean, now that I'm not a little girl. Maybe she'll think I don't need her anymore. Well, this isn't her home anymore. But you're still her daughter, and it's okay to miss her. You're doing all right, Dad. Thanks. But believe me, when you have questions like this, there's nothing more I'd rather say than go ask your mother. I'll be at the car wash. I hate this stuff. There's going to be more of it. I know. And I'll do my best for you. I mean, I realize that before long, say, when you're in your late 20s, early 30s, you'll start dating. <laughs> and uh, a couple of years after your marriage, you'll probably want to have sex for the first time. <laughs> but hopefully by then, I'll be blind, deaf, and in a home in New Jersey. <laughs> Look. Twenty years ago, I met a woman who I thought would be a good mother for you and your brothers. Just didn't turn out that way. I know that's what you need right now. You need a mother. And you need a hairdresser. Uh, you're stuck with me, sweetie. And the fact is, I couldn't love you more. I'm afraid I haven't done very well here. You did great, Dad. I'm ready. Oh, good. Blossom, there's just one more thing I want to ask you before we go out. <laughs> Is it true that because of the water retention, you're likely to be short-tempered and irritable? Yes, I am. 
Whoa. I'm kidding. I'm fine. <sighs> and if there aren't any more questions, I'd very much like it if we could get on with our lives and go at Mushu Pork. I'm all for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's very important that I understand these changes. Otherwise, it could become a barrier in my understanding of Blossom's experience. And as we all know, empathy is the key to a good relationship. So is privacy? Privacy. Kind of lonesome, but I get it. <laughs> all right, we're out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. One day, you walk down the stairs and you're a woman. So all of a sudden, everything changes. So what does this mean? I, I can't hit you in the head anymore? I have to knock before I come into your room? I have to say, excuse me when I burp? What? <laughs> all it means is that we're growing up. Really, it doesn't change anything. Yes, it does. After you. Really like your hair. <laughs> supposed to ask? I'll tell you who. Supposed to ask my mother. She's supposed to be in the kitchen waiting for me after school with the cake and a tube of icing ready to explain the whole thing. But my mother's not in the kitchen. She's not even in the country. She's on the road fulfilling her needs. Well, I really need her right now. And all I have is a stupid P.O. box. Oh. You just go ahead and cry, sweetheart. It's very, very sad. Why can't I just have a mother who lives at home? It's not fair. No, it's not fair! <laughs> Neither is gravity. <laughs> Max, you have to grow up anyway. See? Now, what about your father? My father? He's a man. Well, there's nothing wrong with men. I've had six wonderful husbands. Four of them were my own. <laughs> I tried to talk to my father. Well, try again. I mean, he loves you, Blossom. So do those goofball brothers of yours. So do I. But it's not the same as having a mother. No, sweetheart. It's not the same, but we all got to work with what we got. See? Hi, Dad. Thank God you're here, Blossom. Quick, North Dakota. Dad, can I talk to you about something? Of course, sweetheart. Florida. Dad, do you remember when I was born? Do I remember? 1976. Kansas. I was born in California. I have an itch in Kansas. Do you remember what the doctor said when I was born? The three loveliest words in the language. It's a girl. Well, Daddy, that was... 14 years ago, and I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm a woman now. You mean? I got my period. Oh. Of what are you two?
talk with you for a minute? Yeah, sure, Dad. Have you noticed anything on... <laughs> anything unusual or strange about your sister? No, she looks fine to me. Well, she was kind of weird the other day. Yeah. Yeah, she was with me, too. Has she mentioned a boyfriend? Blossom? <laughs> Come on. Well, what about the possib... What about the possibility? I know this sounds crazy. You think there's any chance in the world, you know, she's fooling around with, uh... Drugs? I knew you'd get that. <laughs> Dad, trust me, I know everything there is to know about drugs. Buying, selling, growing, hiding, kicking. If anyone was on drugs in this house, I'd be the one to know about it. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is, but there is something going on. Dad, listen, Blossom's a great kid. Well, if she had a problem, she'd talk to you. And if she couldn't talk to you, she'd talk to me. And if she couldn't talk to me, she'd talk to... She'd try you again. <laughs> well, thanks, Anthony. You may be right. Parting your hair differently? <laughs> you noticed, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Nice talking to you. Okay, now look, we need something really spectacular. How about, can you fall off the top of the stairs and land on your head? Yeah. But I can only do it once. <laughs> Here are the groceries, Mrs. Swanson. Hello, Bill. Don't talk to him, he's an idiot. <laughs> I'll put your change in the cookie jar. Okay. There's a surprise for you. It's in the bag. This is a surprise. <laughs> no, those are mine. Oh, thank you. Hello? Oh. Bonjour, Hotel Bonaparte. Comment allez-vous? Operator, please don't talk that fast. I'm only in French one. Oh, you speak English. No kidding. What part of Nebraska? Oh. Well, Madeline Russo, room 1211. She isn't? Well, can I leave a message? This is her daughter, Blossom. Could you tell her... Could you tell her that I miss her? Oh, why do you too? talk with you for a minute. Yeah, sure, Dad. Have you noticed anything on... <laughs> anything unusual or strange about your sister? No, she looks fine to me. Well, she was kind of weird the other day. Yeah. Yeah, she was with me, too. Has she mentioned a boyfriend? Blossom? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Well, what about the possib... What about the possibility? I know this sounds crazy. You think there's any chance in the world, you know, she's fooling around with, uh... Drugs? I knew you'd get that. Dad, trust me. I know everything there is to know about drugs. Buying, selling, growing, hiding, kicking. If anyone was on drugs in this house, I'd be the one to know about it. Well, I don't know what it is, 
But there is something going on. Dad, listen. Blossom's a great kid. Well, if she had a problem, she'd talk to you. And if she couldn't talk to you, she'd talk to me. And if she couldn't talk to me, she'd talk to... She'd try you again. <laughs> well, thanks, Anthony. You may be right. Parting your hair differently? <laughs> you noticed, huh? You mean... I got my period. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Dad. Already? Already? I'm 14 years old. I'm practically the last one of my class. Blossom, when? Where was I? Nine o'clock Friday, the Biltmore Piano Bar. I don't mean where was I Friday. I mean where was I when you grew up? I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Join the club. Everything's going to change. I mean, you're not my little girl anymore. This is wonderful. It is? Of course it is. Wait till I tell your brothers. Dad. Anthony, Jelly, come in here. Dad, Dad, what are you doing? They'll be thrilled. There's great news, guys. Blossom got her period. Come in. Are me and my big mouth forgiven? Yes. Even though I called Ted Koppel? <laughs> yeah. You'll become a woman, all right. We've been waiting for you downstairs for 15 minutes. I can't get my hair to work. Proof positive. This is a crazy idea anyway. Who ever heard of going out for Chinese food to celebrate puberty? Oh, here. Let me help you. You're gonna braid my hair. I know a lot about knots. I was in the Navy. You were in the band. How hard can it be? Give me a chance here, Blossom. You look so beautiful. So grown up. I wish your mother could see you. Dad, do you think she'll ever come home? I mean, now that I'm not a little girl. Maybe she'll think I don't need her anymore. Well, this isn't her home anymore. But you're still her daughter, and it's okay to miss her. You're doing all right, Dad. Thanks. But believe me, when you have questions like this, there's nothing more I'd rather say than go ask your mother. I'll be at the car wash. I hate this stuff. There's going to be more of it. I know. And I'll do my best for you. I mean, I realized that before long, say... <laughs> Baking this cake for your after-school snack. Mom. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't say a thing. What's different about you? I know you have your period. <laughs> How could you tell? I'm your mother, Blossom. A mother knows. Really? Of course. I bet you're filled with questions. Lots of changes going on inside. Sit down, I'll explain everything. This, my dear, is an ovary. And this is another one. Now, every month, the ovary will produce an egg that will travel through the fallopian tubes into the uterus. The uterus is like a nest waiting for an egg. That's so one day when you're married and decide that you want to have children, an egg can be fertilized and a baby can grow there. But until then, your body will get ready with practice every month. And then the nest that is not used is shed. And that is your period. 
I see. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful change, huh? Yes. It means that someday when you're grown, you'll be able to be a mother, too, and have a lovely daughter all your own, a daughter that you will love. And be very proud of. Oh, Mom. <laughs> but it can be a difficult change, too. You're leaving your girlhood behind. That can be kind of scary, kind of lonely. Yes, it can. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Everything is fine. Why don't you go up to your room? I'll be there very soon with some warm soup and a heating pad. And we'll talk all about it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Mom? It can be kind of scary, kind of lonely. Yes, it can. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Everything is fine. Why don't you go up to your room? I'll be there very soon with some warm soup and a heating pad, and we'll talk all about it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, operator. Can you tell me what time it is in Paris? Thank you. Hello? Oh. Bonjour, Hotel Bonaparte. Comment allez-vous? <laughs> operator, please don't talk that fast. I'm only in French one. Oh, you speak English. No kidding. What part of Nebraska? Oh. Well, Madeline Russo, room 1211. She isn't? Well, can I leave a message? This is her daughter, Blossom. Could you tell her... Could you tell her that I miss her? Au revoir to you, too. talk with you for a minute. Yeah, sure, Dad. Have you noticed anything on... <laughs> anything unusual or strange about your sister? No, she looks fine to me. Well, she was kind of weird the other day. Yeah. Yeah, she was with me, too. Has she mentioned a boyfriend? Blossom? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Well, what about the 